for all five of you out there who were super excited to know how I cleaned up an AI generated music and took out all of those little artifacts that we know and love but sometimes don't want, then this is a little tutorial for you, which I have broken up into a thread. First we're going to go to Splash Pro because everybody knows that it's my favorite and we're just going to throw in a prompty prompt boom and we're going to go ai not fast fast is already amazing it don't got no artifacts but this ai one it's still got some artifacts so we'll hit generate and you get a bunch of samples that you can listen to You know, but guess what? I already made one that I like. We'll go over to our library and that's the one that I want to do. So download that baby. Next, Next we're, we're going to go, go over, over to, to Rip, Rip X Daw. Daw. Now, now this, this is the tool that changed, that changed the, game the game for me. me. It, it lets, lets you basically, basically clean up all of those, those little, little artifacts, artifacts because, because what, what it does, does is when you import, import your, your song, song whoa, whoa as, as you can you see it's crazy, crazy looking. looking when you when import, import it, it it actually, actually rips, rips it, it which, which means, means it's going, it's going to, stem to stem the song, the song into all of these individual tracks, tracks voice, voice piano, piano bass, bass kicks drums, drums percussion strings, strings whatever you choose and it's, it's going, going to isolate each and every single note now, now, it looks, it looks a, little a little confusing, confusing. it looks a little, a little overwhelming. overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get that. that. But, but you can isolate, or, or I guess highlight, which, which one, one of the tracks, tracks that you see. see. Bass, Bass, kick, kick percussion, percussion, all of these little, little dots, dots up here. here. And, and what's really, really freaking, freaking cool about it is, is you can edit each little, little note, note individually. individually. And so, so this is really where the power, power comes, comes in, in right? right? So let's say I'm listening to my song. And kind of like, ugh, I don't know. That we is a little too sultry. I want it to be a little funner. Guess what? You can move it and change its pitch. Now it sounds completely different. Sounds like a happy wee. But you know what? I kind of do like the sultry version, so we'll just go ahead and put it back. I just wanted to show you. So yes, yes it, is it is fun, fun that you can control all of the little notes and do different things to them. But what's so important with the AI music is that you can basically delete all the crazy notes that you don't like. So let's go over and look at this, what it thinks is strings. A lot of crazy stuff, right? Let's just isolate it. It's very, it's got like, like that really ideal sort of AI sound, right? Could have been a lot more discerning about this probably, but basically all I did was like, hmm, I don't know, this one like ambient-esque sound that probably adds some stuff, but I bet all this other stuff is just kind of noise, maybe bits and pieces that are, you know, not Exactly, exactly stemmed, stemmed out, out nicely, nicely from, from this. this and, and I was, I was just like, like all right but peace bye and I deleted all of it so I went through and basically just cleaned up a lot of the extra sounds in here and you can see the difference between this original input and what I ended up with it looks a lot prettier <laughs> Now, now, I, I did, did export, export this, this and, and bring, bring it into, into Adobe, Adobe Audition. So, so when you're exporting and if you want to bring it into an editor or DAW of your choice, choice just, just make sure that you hit this separate stems, stems and, and export, export there. there. Okay, okay, so, so now, now I have it in Adobe Audition. Audition. I just, just button mashed a bunch of stuff. stuff. I am not, not the person to be giving advice as to what equalizers do or compression does. I literally just come in here, go to an effects, hit this thing, look at all the effects and try to pick ones that do stuff. So I added some dynamic processing, some paramatic equalizer, uh, 
filter that I don't know the name of, some studio reverb and some dynamics to the drum. Right? And then I did some very thing. I added a little bit of delay to this ambience and I added a reverb to the vocals. And just sort of made everything a little bit nicer. I don't really know how, but maybe someday I'll be able to make a tutorial that really goes into depth about what all of these things mean. But in the meantime, it was button mashing. Okay, so this was a really short little tutorial on all of this. To be fair, the Rip X DAW has so many other things going for it that I haven't even touched the surface for. You can change the sounds, make instruments into different instruments. You can do time changing. There's even a little reverb and stuff inside of that DAW itself, and I am sure that it's only going to be expanding. If you want to know more about it before I am able to tell you about it, I highly suggest going there, or maybe there, or I don't know where it will be, but I highly suggest going to their YouTube page and checking out some of their tutorials from people who are, you know, more smart smart than me. Anyway, thank you all so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!